to massive fan bases, to great teams, off to fantastic starts this season. Somebody's going to walk home with their first loss today. Either one wants it to be them. Olivia Cochran and Essence Cody battle for the tip. And the Cardinals control. Louisville top 20 in the AP poll for the 13th year in a row. Coming off a run of five straight Elite Eights. Sydney Taylor starts this off with the first shot of the tournament, and Essence Cody grabs the board. Out of bounds off of Taylor and coaches. We talked before this matchup. These are two really good defenses if you haven't seen either one of these two teams play before. Well, outstanding. Alabama is leading the country right now and holding opponents to under uh, 42 points a game. I'm excited to see who's going to score for us. This is a great test for both of these teams who we mentioned have been off to a pristine start of their non-conference slate. That's what this tournament is all about. The Van Chancellor and Betty Chancellor Classics expanding the field bigger than they ever have before. Some of the biggest names, including these two, in the tournament this weekend. Our first stop is your play. And that's Cochran. Alabama will have its first throw in with Loyal McQueen. Yeah, Coach Walls isn't going to like that with Cochran picking up an early foul there with under a minute to go. Olivia Cochran, a big part of what they do. Had such a big Elite Eight against Iowa last year. Sarah Ashley Barker. Going for the junior, Jessica Timmons. Here's some of that suffocating Cardinal defense. They forced their first turnover today. And Alabama follows suit. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of this until they settle in a little bit. There's a rock fight early. It's already Cody physical out there. Yeah, two very physical teams, as we mentioned. Louisville out of the ACC. Alabama part of the ever-physical SEC. There's our first points of the tournament as Nyla Harris slips it through. Tied making the NCAA tournament last season. 20 wins. Alexia Mobley. That's a big time wow. shot. <laughs> Kiki Jefferson going to work. The Lancaster, Pennsylvania native. They want to work it to Cochran in the post, and she hits the floor hard. And looks like uh, later in uh, March, uh, good time to uh, test your team three games in three days. Preseason all ACC pick. They are really going to go as far as she can take her. No doubt, the most experienced uh, player on their team and, and their leader. See Jeff Waltz there. What a career that he has carved out here in Louisville. Timmons swiped away. And Harris able to reset. Three on two. Over well, running a set with the Cochran screen. Nothing is rolling off the rim right now. We stay tied at three. Timmons three on two. Got that off glass. Good body control there to finish. Alabama steals it going back the other way in the outlet. Nine. Book it. That's what they love to do. Pick one in transition. Haley Fistambololu. In for Louisville. Taylor can't get it to go, but an offensive rebound. It takes two, but she finally gets her first points of the day. And they need to get her going. She's their uh, leading scorer, and, and it's, it's going to feel good to her to see the ball go in there. Louisville struggling to get shots off right now. Weathers won't miss that one. You have to guard Alabama at the three-point line. They're an excellent three-point shooting team. Sydney Taylor tied up. Graduate out of Long Island, New York. Long way from home. Previously played at UMass. See Coach Christy Curry there at 11 seasons here at Alabama. And she's forged a very nice program. They made the NCAA tournament last season. She hit a game winner this summer in Toronto. Uh, their team was able to go up there and play. And she hit a game winner that uh, helped them win the gold. And she was tournament MVP. That's it's Cody into the game. Five fouls on Louisville, just one for Alabama. Of course, let's reset at the quarter. Barker, another turnover. That's two and two trips. Taylor. She'll go to the line. One of the best free throw shooting teams in the country at almost 84%. Outstanding. We're off and rolling here at the Betty Chancellor Classic. 0 for 2 for Taylor. <laughs> you really jinxed her. <laughs> 
McQueen. Carly Weathers. Loyal. Can't get that one to roll. And Jada Curry able to board it down. Louisville trying to tie the game on this possession. Offensive rebound. Jada Curry. And one. This roster this year, obviously a very veteran-laden group. And Louisville able to level it. Ali and I with a shot from distance early in her game. Nice three. Finger roll. Alabama back on top. Stomper low. Curry. Boy, another five points early for her. Parker's traps. Back to McQueen. No, but a whistle. And Sydney Taylor picks up a personal. That's already two on Taylor. Have to keep an eye on there for Louisville. I'm sure they, they don't necessarily want to do that this early in the game, but two, two fouls here in the first quarter is not good. And Coach Wall says exactly that. Kiki Jefferson points spread early. Alabama led by as many as five. Jefferson. Offensive board for Love. Bench has been great for Alabama this year. They're putting up 23 points per contest in the second unit. So Christy Curry feels like she has an advantage in that department. And we love the mid-year transfer from Georgia Tech. And he selects the lead down to one. It was a rock fight earlier for just now getting tuned in after a turkey-induced coma. It's three to three for the first five minutes and change. Mainly thanks to good defense like you're seeing right now. Nye going to work. This is Meg Newman settling it down. A reversal for Timmons. Step back wouldn't go in the rebound to Cunningham. Oval trapping everywhere right now. And Timmons. Wow, what a find to Newman. Nice, and Alabama really earned that bucket. Approaching the final minute of this first quarter. Now Harris trickles it in. Alabama can go two for one. Weathers. Bring it up. You see Jeff Balls over there. He is not happy. They're just uh, leaving Alabama too wide open at the three-point line consistently. And uh, they do not want to do that. Weathers. Three to work with. Timmons. Oh, got the roll. What an action-packed first quarter. Tough shot at the buzzer there. Highly contested again, and Timmons knocks it in. Christy Curry on the Alabama sideline. Trying to help her unit stay tight defensively. It's Domolobo. Uh, cross court for Louisville. Kiki Jefferson. Timmons forceful with the board and then elbows throw. That's a foul on Timmons. And coach, they're watching for the lowering of the shoulder here on this attempted setback. And I like Cunningham's aggressiveness. Uh, she's handling the physicality well. Just needs to, to keep her elbows down there on that rebound and handle, handle the pressure. That was Gianna Cunningham, you go right. Off the amount for Nyla Harris. Istanbul Lolo gets the roll. All the way from Istanbul, Turkey, a true freshman. Alabama made it to the first round of the NCAA tournament last year. Two postseason caliber teams. Newman with a reversal. Hello. We've seen Alabama settle in a little bit more. That backside's been open. Beautiful job to create her own shot off the glass. Oval trying to keep Alabama at arm's length. Jada Curry with five early points. Cochran. She can knock down that little mid range jump. Thank you, man. Queen, nine. Offensive 
the board for Weathers. Newman again in the middle of the party. How about that finish? Good patience, good poise, and great toughness to finish there through contact. Six points for Newman off the bench. Beautiful cut, can't finish. It's Dabalolo off glass. Two of the best defensive teams in the country for just now tuning in. Weathers, string music. Five point lead for Alabama. Lowell McQueen over eight points per game this year. Over for one of the star additions, Ali and I. Sarah Ashley Barker back into the game and back into the score sheet. I'll tell you what, Louisville's not letting her get anything easy. She earned that bucket. Uh, they were up on her in her space. Um, tough, contested shot. Great bucket by Barker. One of the best players in the SEC, over 18 points per game. They think this is going to be a huge year for her. Cochran can't hit. Off the offensive board, as she so often does, resets. Nine. Rejected by the rim, and Cochran grabs another ball. Full boy in. Travel again. It's been a while since these two teams have played. They travel, they come, eat their Thanksgiving dinner. Here they are at 11 a.m. on Black Friday trying to play a top 25 caliber team. Well, I'm sure they, they all had some uh, some good meals yesterday, so uh, it'll probably take a little bit to uh, get in the flow. Barker with eight on the shot clock. Timmons got it. Olivia Cochran. Nice. Louisville goes to the well. And that was a great possession for Louisville. You saw patience. You saw ball movement. Uh, didn't try to do too much. Got the easy bucket. Louisville unblemished this season. They rolled over Bellarmine 110 to 33 their last time out. Royal McQueen. Great defensive stand there for Louisville. Taylor. That would have been the first shot from outside for Louisville all day. Much early in the season here, but very capable. Cunningham is the bunny. Barker able to follow and the foul. That's a um, very good experience poise from a veteran right there to go get that put back. Cocker just picked up her third. Yeah, really tough for Louisville there right before the half. That was a hard position for her to be in, too, trying to guard two of Alabama's most talented scorers. Yeah, you have to almost let that one go there. Right. She's more valuable to her team than that one bucket. Ricard's foul. She has seen Alabama quite a bit in her career coming over from Florida. And, and the uh, what it takes to go against that level. Offensive board off the miss. Back to nine in the post. There's Taylor coming over from UMass. Some of the other contributors, Jefferson coming over from James Madison. This is a desirable program to play for because we mentioned of how much winning they've done specifically in the NCAA tournament. Charlie Weathers tries to chisel her way in. What is it, Warren? 0 for 2. Cardinals can hold for their last shot. Jada Curry running a set. Records. Nailed the fadeaway. Great and pull nice up. Edge. And indeed, an awesome way to end this first half. A building that's hosted the Southland Conference tournaments so over several years, hosted the Southland Conference tip-off last year. It's been a while since they've had some hoops in this building. Van and Betty Chancellor Classic, named after the legendary former head coach of the Houston Comets. Long-time pilot of Ole Miss and LSU, which Van Chancellor. Sarah Ashley Parker. On her first miss of the second half, and already a whistle on Alabama, 70 feet from the basket. Jessica Timmons frustrated picking up her second foul. Two undefeated teams. Somebody's going to walk away with their first L of the season. 
Sydney Taylor wants to make sure it's not moved. Five to shoot. Great cut. Barker, no. Two to shoot. McQueen and one. Great cut to the basket there by Barker and awesome job by McQueen to follow up. Loyal McQueen, five foot eight. Right in the lane in the heart of the play. Cochran picking up her fourth foul there. That is significant. That's really a detriment to Louisville. Hate to see that this early in the game. Hey, look at Stomololu back into the game. A fan favorite at Louisville thus far. You can see why. An offensive board and the layup won't go. Another reset. Taylor. Book it. I love the footwork there and the patience. She gives a little fake. Keeps her feet under her. Good balance. Gets another three for Louisville. It's awesome. They have two going through the basket here early. That's going to be crucial. Sydney Taylor, 104 three-pointers made last year. That was seventh in the NCAA. Alabama knocked down five three-point shots in the first half. Two to shoot. Offensive rebound for Essence Cody. And the true fresh coach Christy Curry in a conversation earlier this week told us that these freshmen are really growing up. Essence Cody part of a big-time recruiting class. They had a top 20 class according to ESPNW last year. Cody Coach one Curry's, of the centerpieces. Yeah, she's done an excellent job at Alabama. Without question, and I'm really enjoying the fact that we haven't had a, any turnovers here to start the second half. Both teams have settled in a little bit. That's been key. What a response by Kiki Jefferson. But it is a jump when you come from mid-major and you jump to the power five. The pace. They have more than acquitted themselves today against the top 25 foe. Trying to regain the lead. Will McQueen foul. said we love who we're trying to be or she loves I should say who they're trying to be defensively we're both trying to tie it up Taylor another sidestep she's got that down shot fake sidestep bucket think about Louisville making up this margin that nine points on her back in this court he's definitely leading the way for them one point game. Barker gets the roll. Cardinals can tie it up. Jefferson runs it in. Alabama looking to get back on top. Weathers on Jefferson. Oh, the nifty finish with the left hand. Weather's been very, continues to be very impressive off the bench for Alabama. Shade over three and a half left in the third. Taylor and one. Well, she's really been spearheading this this uh, momentum change for Louisville coming out from halftime. And she's just been excellent scoring for them. Tyler and Harris. it's important with Cochran out that somebody else step up. No doubt. Four fouls for Olivia Cochran if you're just now joining us. And the foul trouble just continues to stack up for the Cardinals. We talked about Cochran. That's number three on Taylor. And the fact that she's leading them offensively here in the, in the third quarter. It's going to be real important. She might have to let a few things go, but she cannot pick up that fourth. Iowa Harris also has three. So really, Coach, the three players, if you're Louisville, that you don't want to be in foul trouble are currently in it. You know, Alabama's in a good position here in terms of... Getting to the free throw line and forcing these fouls against Louisville. Sarah Ashley Barker with her eighth point. Alabama back on top by a narrow margin. Taylor in. Able to draw the whistle instead of drawing it. Foul trouble and, and others not as much. We mentioned the challenge of this tournament. It's three games in three days for all eight schools. It's not a win-lose bracket situation. It's three guaranteed games. And we're staying aggressive here in game number one. Marissa Russell on the block. Up and under to nine. 
Ricard is pulled to the way. Cardinals trying to break the stalemate. Taylor. Clock down to seven. Ricards can't get the roll. Nina Ricards. One of the best free throw shooting outfits in the country. They're ninth. You know, at 83% as a team, you don't want to put them at the line. That could be a difference maker down the stretch here. Alabama's got to be careful they don't start sending Louisville to the line. Timmons. What a good first half she had. She had a great straight line drive there. No help side defense. Good one-on-one -on -one finish. These two have had an answer for each other every time they've scored in the second half. Ricards, no. Definitely foul trouble is going to be a factor here down the stretch in the fourth quarter for both teams. They're just 13 of 20 at the stripe. We talked about how good they are in that category. It doesn't slow down today. <laughs> the excitement continues to build. Gonzaga and Liberty, two teams that respectively could win their conference this year and be NCAA tournament contenders. Now those four teams will go head to head. So Louisville will not play Noble, Alabama, Clemson, or Mississippi State among the notables on the other side. With Coach Green, you know, he's been there forever, it feels like, and uh, Gonzaga, something of that nature. And uh, Pine Bluff, I really like. They have some great transfers out of the portals. Time to shoot for the Cardinals. Pops down to three. Harris swims through from a packed Thanksgiving day yesterday. Glad you're with us on a holiday weekend. Louisville tries to trap there off the sideline out of bounds. They run a little blitz action. Alabama, great poise. That rebound edge in that category, 12 to 11. Russell gives it up. Alabama on the break, three on two. McQueen sticks the land. I like that challenge by McQueen there. She knows Taylor's there. But Taylor thought, thought about going in Dublin and then thought better of it because of her foul trouble. So one-on-one, -on -one, she was left one-on-one, -on -one and McQueen did a very nice job there at finishing. Five to work with for Taylor. Ricards. Beat the buzzer, but it's off anyway. Here, Jones, the former head coach at Texas Tech in Minnesota. Marlene Stolings here with you. Strap in for the finish on a Black Friday. Been a fun one. Two teams going hard for a premier non-conference win. And the Crimson Tide give it an offensive foul away for the ball. Louisville three players in foul trouble, Alabama two. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out here in the fourth quarter. It's going to be a bit of a chess match for these two head coaches. When does Alabama put back in Aaliyah Nye? When will Coach Walls put in Olivia Cocker with four fouls apiece? And how those players respond is going to be crucial as well. They've been out for a couple of them a long time here. A big stretch, especially Cochran. Working in the post with Gianna Cunningham. Mid range not there. Comes Rickards. Beautiful find. Jefferson takes the lead. And Christy Curry incensed on the bench, calling a timeout. Aliyah Nye is back in with four fouls for Alabama. Do you like that decision with 826 left? It's a little early for me, but again, I am always in favor of the coach knows their player best no and uh, The momentum here is, is still going Louisville's way. So I think uh, coach Curry wants to uh, Help our team out a little bit here. Nice drive by Barker from her campus where she's played four years of great college ball Harris Seven lean changes nine times time Walker misses everything. Cody foul. And I think week by week you're going to see big jumps in her game. Forget all that though. She's in a big time game. Three fouls, just one point. A little level at 60. You're just now getting tuned in. Cochran with five points and four rebounds, but that mostly came in the first quarter. She picked up her third foul right before the half, and then her fourth one minute into the third quarter. They go right to her. Cochran travel. There's a lot of time left in this game. Barker denied at the hole. Barker keeps it alive and sticks it in. Big bucket Barker right there. Two on one. Tie game. 
Jessica Timmons. Three to two. Barker. Big side triple. Deep three by Barker. I guess she needed a little bit more of a challenge. <laughs> that was the toughest three she's had all day at the biggest moment, and she nails it. And she started kind of quiet in this game, but she's hit her season average with 18 huge points. And she's had to do it in different ways today. But credit to her. Timmons. Couldn't get the roll. There's a whistle away from the ball. What a great game, Garrett. I feel like we're in March already. This has uh, definitely the intensity of a game in March. Big meal yesterday. Curry. Swatted away. Cody with the denial. But another offensive board for Louisville. Taylor. Cody grabs the pill. And she grabs that with three Louisville players flying in there. Louisville's really crashing the glass hard. Nye can't answer. Parker grabs the rebound. The Alabama bench erupts. Stays Louisville basketball. Taylor. Ricard's boards. She is everywhere. Curry. Cochran again. Turned away by Cody. And so it's Alabama's basketball. The number one defense in the NCAA when it comes to scoring. McQueen. All kinds of contact from her cards. And to shoot. McQueen. With the answer, Alabama by four. What a bucket by McQueen. That was huge. She reads the defense. Again, a straight line drive down the middle. There's not any help side. And she's outstanding. And she just picked up her four. And Barker will come out of the game. We've got here on this floor this afternoon between the Benny and Van Chancellor Classics. Cochran off the feed. Taylor. Warhol started to go cold. Rickards keeping them alive in the offensive glass. She's been huge. I cannot say it enough for Louisville here in the second half. Great rebound, great putback. Takes it to a two-point game. 21 offensive rebounds for Louisville in this ballgame. McQueen lost it. Did she go over and back? Yes, she did. Bama just needs to stick with what worked earlier in the game when they broke the press. With Sarah Ashley Barker on the bench for Alabama with four fouls. Wow, what a move. Harris ties it up. 47 ticks on the clock. Jessica Timmons works it from the point. Shot clock and game clock about 20 seconds apart. Carly Weathers. Timmons. Nine. Locked in. Alabama back on top with 29.3. They stayed with it, got the best open look. Shot clock is dark. Nine, great job knocking it down. Cochran spins in the lane. Cochran it's a right one-point affair. Right back at you with Cochran. Louisville, you can see they're very poised. They've been in this position a lot. Alabama will throw the basketball in. Louisville needing a stop defensively. Aliyah and I swarmed up and fouled by Sidney Taylor. Nye back to the strike. Saw the cold-blooded triple from her a few moments ago. Very good free throw shooter to boot. Nice second free throw of the day on the way. A fantastic start to the tournament. Bring it down to the wire here. You know where cards will toss it in. Louisville looking to tie on this possession. Iso for Cochran at the basket. Denied by the rim and then a whistle. Louisville 15 out of 23 at the line. Uh, it's definitely been a difference maker today. They, they've not hit their free throws as usual. Cochran cuts the lead down to one. So that worked brilliantly for Coach Walls. You only take a few seconds off the clock and you cut the lead down to one. And Louisville has a few seconds here to try to go for a steal. They don't have to foul immediately. And the Timmons. They do go for the steal, but they foul with 11.1. I've got to believe Alabama feels very comfortable having Timmons at the line here. She's almost 80% on the year with uh, 
19 attempts. Christy Curry unfazed on the sideline for Alabama. Jessica Timmons with 13 big points today. Nothing to it at the free throw line for Alabama. Four to their last four in a very big spot. Standing here in the second half, getting second and third opportunities. Alabama cannot allow this at this crucial point of the game. Where cars will throw it in. Clock is down to seven. Wow, an offensive foul. What a job by Alabama. Oh my, they got Nina pushing off there with her offhand. Tough, tough call. She's played very well here in the second half. The Crimson Tide Great bench job. erupted. Great job defensively uh, by Alabama. Their show. That's a tough call in that spot. Alabama has to take care of the ball here. Just get it in. Louisville's going to foul. And Ali and I can essentially put it away at the strike. An 83% free throw shooter. Both teams out of timeouts. How exciting for Alabama if they get this win today. Again, the first time since 2021 to beat a ranked opponent. First matchup since 2008 between these schools. Hope it's not the last anytime soon. Barn burner today. Jefferson for three. That's the buzzer. Christy Curry and Alabama with a sensational win. Louisville falls for the first time in 2023.